when we're learning about Sonic Pi, computer music, or programming in general, I think it's just as important that we can read and understand other people's programs as it is to be able to write them for ourselves. So in this video, we're going to take a quick look at this composition called Haunted Bells by Sam Aaron, who is the creator of Sonic Pi, and we have him to thank for all of this stuff that we've been doing in this course. Before I hit play on Haunted Bells, I want you to take a look at this loop. I'm going to make the size of the text as big as possible because it's a really simple composition and just try and think what we might expect to hear when I do run this program. What's going on in this bit of code? The first thing I see when I take a look at Haunted Bells is that this sample, Perk Bell, is obviously going to be very important in the music that's being created. Let's have a listen to that on its own just to see what it sounds like. So if I just play Sample Perk Bell, it's a nice dingy kind of bell sound. But what's going on when it's included in the program? The part of the program that's probably going to most affect how our bell sample is played back to us is this rate parameter, which is being set at random every time our loop runs. And it's going to pick a rate for the sample that sits somewhere between 0.125 and 1.5, which means that at its most slow, it might be an eighth of its normal speed, and at its most fast, it might be one and a half times its normal playback speed. So that's interesting. So this composition obviously involves a loop, so things happening over and over again. The thing that's happening here is our bell sample that's being played back at lots of different speeds, depending on what rate is being set every time here in the rate parameter. There is just one part of this program that we still have to consider, and that is this sleep command sitting on line 5. As we saw in a previous video, if we have an infinite loop like this one, a loop that just runs round and around and around forever, and we don't include some kind of sleep command, very quickly we end up with a horrible noise and a broken program. So Sam has been very smart in including a sleep command here to slow haunted bells down and put a bit of space between each playing of the perk bell sample. The shortest time we might have to wait between playings is a tenth of a second and the longest amount of time we might have to wait between playings is two seconds. So hopefully this is going to create an unpredictable type of composition with our perk bell sample being played back sometimes very slowly which might sound quite low in pitch and spooky and sometimes played quite fast which will sound very high in pitch and sort of tingly. And of course we're never going to know when the next bell is coming and I'm sure that will lead to some spooky surprises as the piece unfolds. So let's take a listen and see what haunted bells actually sounds like. That sounds to me like the perfect soundtrack for a bit of film walking through a spooky forest at night. What's nice when we look at other people's programs is hopefully they give us ideas as to things we might want to do in our own programs, or they might get us inspired to try and play around and change what's already been written. So I'm going to have a quick go at that just to finish off this video. What I think would be really cool is if, as well as having some slow bells because I thought those were really effective when the bells were really slow and low in pitch. I'd also like to see what would happen if sometimes we get the bells coming backwards. So if I change the range of the random numbers that are being generated from 
minus 1.5 to positive 1.5. It means that some of the time, the rates that are being set for this Perk Bell sample are going to be negative. And as we saw before, when we set a negative rate value, we're going to hear the sample played backwards. I think this will be really cool. So mixed in with our high and low bells, we're also going to get some spooky bells played backwards. Let's take a listen. I thought that was pretty effective and spooky. Hearing some of the bells being played backwards gave me the sense that there was something paranormal or extraterrestrial going on when I was listening to that music. I hope you enjoyed that and it gives you lots of ideas to put into some of your own compositions and I'll see you in the next video.